Hola Augustana, my name is Janet Metcalf and I'm a member here at Augustana of the Global Mission Team. Um, I am also chairperson of the Synod uh, Guatemala Committee for the St. Paul Area Synod and I've served in that position for a number of years. I want to talk today about two things. I want to give you an update on the recent Guatemala Gala, which was a Synod event. And I want to give you a special message from our partner church, San Agustin Lutheran. Um, I am going to talk about the ELOG. And the ELOG is the acronym for the Iglesia Luterana Agustina de Guatemala. But that's an awful lot of words, right? So I'm going to use the acronym ELOG. Um, the ELOG has been our companion synod partner since 2005. Um, that partnership has been following in the footsteps of the Tanzania Partnership. We've been stealing ideas from them all these years, and I hear that they're stealing ideas from our partnership. So that's good news. Both partnerships follow three tenets of prayer, presence, and projects in that order of importance. Some of the projects that you have participated in funding, synod-wide projects, have been the guest housing at the Lutheran Center, the latrine project, the water tanks, improved stoves, and one of our recent ones is the Women's Education Center, the Milagros Center at the Lutheran Center. For the past eight years, we have had a fundraiser uh, in the form of a gala, Guatemala Gala, and the date was approaching, May 3rd, and then the pandemic hit. So we had to cancel. We had no choice. We couldn't gather. And then we noticed some other groups were doing some online events. And we thought, well, we don't know how to do that, but let's find out who knows how to do it. And let's put together a video with some segments from Guatemala, from Bishop Lull, and see if we can tell the story that way. And so we did it. May 3rd, that video was launched, and we really didn't know what kind of um, return we were going to see in terms of gifts. Um, before I tell you what that return was, anticipation here, <clears throat> I want to tell you what we are raising money for. The ELOG always determines what the um, uh, uh, areas of benefit will be, and there were two this year. The first was a payment, our first payment on the ELCA loan for the new school building. This school had been, um, has been in, in um, operation for a lot of years, but it's, it was located on the edge of a ravine that was crumbling. And the local authorities said, evacuate, get out of there. So the ELUG found a new spot, uh, and the ELCA funded that. And the second area has to do with the pandemic. Um, the ELUG's families are not mostly in the city. They are mostly in rural areas. There are 450 families scattered all over the north and northwestern uh, areas. And they were put in quarantine just like the whole country was. These subsistent far subsistence farming families um, couldn't go anywhere. They couldn't go to market. They couldn't buy supplies. And uh, the pastoral team was very, very concerned about their their health and welfare. So they decided to deliver, with permission from the government, um, deliver packets of, of corn and beans and rice and cooking oil and, and hygiene supplies, things like that, all adding up to a cost of $105 per family. So those were the two needs, the school loan and the COVID-19 relief, uh, COVID relief packets. So now, is the moment that I want to tell you about. I'm going to put on my celebratory hat because why not? We raised $95,000 to date and money is still coming in. Gifts are still coming in. And so if you would like to see that video and participate in that offering, the video is still on the St. Paul Area Synod website. You can watch it. It's, it's really interesting. There's a video within a video, um, a video about the school, and I think you would enjoy seeing that, and you may make a gift if you would like. I'll keep my hat on 
as I tell you about our partner church, San Agustin, because we are celebrating that they are safe and well. Uh, San Agustin is located, San Agustin Lutheran Church, is located in La Esmeralda, which is 10 hours north of Guatemala City. It has been our partner for 18 years, a really strong partnership. We do practice those tenets of prayer, presence, and project as well. We pray for the church weekly, and they pray for us. We visit yearly, and this is the first year that we will not be able to visit, and that makes me sad. And projects. Uh, one project that, that you participated in fully for a number of years is buying the construction materials for a new uh, church building. <clears throat> and now the next project is a new church kitchen. As soon as people can gather to, to work again, they will create that kitchen. I wrote to Pastor Karen Castillo and asked, <clears throat> excuse me, asked about San Agustin Lutheran. How are they doing? Are they well? <clears throat> Here is what she wrote. They are fine in La Esmeralda, thanks be to God. Everyone misses going to church. The pastors and lay leaders deliver the Sunday lessons to each home for the families to worship there. Some people are very worried, while others don't even believe there is a danger with this pandemic. But they have a good health system through the church to prevent problems. They are good planners. They carry out their plans. And now their plan is to protect their health. And they are doing it well. They say that if they could withstand living in the hills and Mexican refugee camps for years during the recent Civil War, well then, being in quarantine is nothing. They are very resilient people who I appreciate and admire a lot. They are sad to miss your visit this year. They pray for you often. They always ask about all of you, and they have been worried about you, especially with the news of the violence in Minneapolis, which they heard about. With many blessings from God, they are safe and well. So we're going to celebrate that they are safe and well. I want to thank you, Augustana, for your unfailing, unfailing support of this partnership. Somos uno en Cristo. We are one in Christ. Amen.